Hello friends, welcome to my channel Fusion Next Gen Learning. If you are first time viewer on my channel, subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get latest update from Fusion Next Gen Learning. In today's demonstration, we are going to cover one more business requirement, how to do a bulk upload of lookup values with the context based descriptive flex fields. So for that, I have already defined the DFF that you have to do. To define the DFF for the lookup values, you have to go to the setup and maintenance. Within the setup and maintenance, you have to go to the task and click on search. Once the moment you click on search, you have to type manage descriptive flag streams. So you have to search the task name called manage descriptive flag stream. Once the moment you click on search, we'll click on the manage descriptive flag streams and then we'll search with the lookup. So you have to search percent lookup percent and try to search. Once the moment you click on search, you can see that the lookup values descriptive flex fields and then F and D lookup values B. So I have already defined it. So let me just walk you through. So you have to click on add it. And once the moment you click on add it, what you have to do, you have to go to the manage context. And within that lookup values, you have the provision with the context based as well as you can define with the global segment basis. So as per your business requirement, you can do that. So I will click on search. So you can see that I've defined the context name called test. And if I click on the pencil icon, you can see that the display name is test and the context code. So that is very important that we will utilize for the context attribute, we'll define it. And then you can see that the segment we have defined within the context. And if I click on the pencil icon, you can see that I have defined the segment name called test and the API name. So in my previous videos, we had observed right, the API name. So that API name is very important if you are using the value set descriptive flex field or you are using the lookup values descriptive flex field. So both the context based as well as the global segment. So you have to use the API name. So we will note down. So let me create. So we'll utilize the API name. So our API name is test. And then my context code is test. So I will copy and capture that. So I have captured all these values. Then over here, you have an option if you want that values within that lookup to be required, you can do that as well. So you have to just enable that it will be required. It will ask user to enter those values. Once the moment you define it, you can define the free text as well as you define the independent value set. So based on your business requirement, you can define that. And make sure that context segment the display type is list of values must be enabled. And then you have to make sure that BI is enabled so that you can find out these within the OTBI itself. Once you define this lookup DFF, you have to deploy it. And you have to make sure that the green flag is enabled. The deployment status must be green and it deployed successfully without any error. Once the moment you define it, what you have to do? You have to validate. So to validate, we'll go to the task called manage 
a standard lookup. So once the moment we we'll try to search the manage standard lookups. So we'll see that. So manage standard lookups. That is our task name. So once the moment I click on the manage standard lookups. So you can create the lookup type. You can define. So we'll validate that. So we'll create the new lookup type. So we'll create test and the meaning same and I will put it same. So test with the meaning name the same already defined over here. So what we'll do, we'll put test one and see whether okay is already there. So we'll define with the test two. So it is already there. So let me do that test two and test three. Yeah, so you can see that. So we have defined lookup type name called test two and then meaning is test three and then the description, right? We use the test. You can use as per your business name, you can provide, you can enter the exact values. Now the module, so I'm going to define, I will utilize the inventory management. You can use any other module as well as per your business requirement whether it belongs to and you are going to use for any indication, any reporting or any other purpose as well. Now, once the moment you defined it, you have to click on save. Once the moment you click on save, then system will allow you to enter the lookup codes. You can define this lookup type as well as in the bulk that provision is also available within the fusion itself. So let's assume if you have hundreds of lookup type to be defined and all those values needs to be uploaded, then you can utilize that bulk functionality. If you're using one or two, you can create lookup type manually and you can use this functionality to upload all those values. Now, once the moment you click on plus, so we have defined context based, right? So for that, you have to click on expand this. So first we'll enter some value. So we'll enter lookup code one, then the display sequence is one, and then the meaning is one. So we are just, you know, I just want to show you how you can see the context based. So once the moment you click on the expansion, then you can see that there's a context based descriptive flex field is appear. And then in the drop down, we have defined with the name of context so called test. And once you choose that context segment attribute, then you can see that the segment we define the name with the test. And that is free text. So we can use whatever values we want. Right. So now we'll see how to prepare the file for the upload. For that, what you have to do? So for that, let me open and show you. So within that, so we'll open this into Notepad as class. So you can see that how it looks like. So you have to first enter the lookup type, then the lookup code. After that, the display sequence, and then the enabled flag. Then you have the start date and the end date. So if you are using that, keep it. If you don't want that to be enabled, then you just leave it. You can delete that. And then meaning the description and the tag. So any of the field. So meaning is important because it's mandatory. The description is optional. So if you don't have any lookup code, the description you can delete here. You can restrict the columns within that values as well as the tag. So tag is also optional. So you can delete it. Either you kept it. So what you have to do, you have to delete. So you just remove this and then you make sure there is no space. And if you want it to be added again, then just put the pipe and then put tag. So this is how you can enter. And then you have to enter the context 
underscore attribute. So this column name, you have to keep it same exactly. So this is what we defined so-called test. And then you can see that we have defined the segment called test. So we are utilizing the API. So if you are using some other company, country, test, or maybe something else, then you have to utilize the API value over here from the segment. If you are not using the context based, then what you have to do, you have to simply delete this and then you have to put it API segment one, segment two, segment three. So you have to put it like by so segment two API name, then you have to put it segment three API name. So this is how in case of if you are using the global segment. If you are not using the global segment and if you are using the context base, then you have to enter the context attribute that you have to make sure. And then after that, you have to use the API name of it. So we have defined. Now we'll define the lookup type. So we have defined the lookup type. So let me go to the UI. So we have defined so-called test two. So we'll go to the and then we'll define test two. And then the lookup code. So lookup code is exactly what value you want to be upload. So I want it to be test. And then the display sequence. So display sequence is one. I want it to be display two because we have already used the display sequence as one and we have already saved this record. So we'll upload display sequence two. After that, what we have, we have the enabled flag. So for enabled flag, you have to use as Y and then the meaning. So meaning I'm using. So what I will do, I will put meaning within the meaning column so that it will be meaningful. So you can recognize what I am doing and within the description, what I will do, I will put it the description. And for the tag, I will use the tagging. And then for the context attribute, right? So we have noted down the context attribute. So the code is test. So I use as a test. And then the, the API, right? So what is the API name? So we noted down the API name called test. So I have already kept it over here. And then I have to upload the values. So what I will do, I will put it segment one values so that it will be meaningful so that you can recognize it. And for the lookup type code, I will use the lookup type code or maybe I will put it lookup code so that it will be easy to recognize. So how I recognize and arrange the column. So I have removed the started and the ended. So for that also, you have an option. So what you have, you have the lookup type, lookup code, display sequence enabled. And after that, enabling the flag, you have the start date active and the end date active. So these two columns you have to add if you want it to be uploaded in a bulk because these two values are optional. So it depends on the business requirement, whether they want it to be uploaded or they don't want it to be uploaded. So I removed it over here and then I kept it the meaning, then the description, tag, context attribute and the test. So what I will do, I will save. So I've already defined and change CSV to pipe within the notepad plus plus and it is ready to proceed for the upload. So for the formatting purpose, you can refer our previous videos, how to arrange the columns in the Excel, then convert into CSV and how CSV, the comma delimited to be converted into pipe within the notepad plus plus and do the bulk upload. So 
I will utilize the one values to be loaded. And let me little bit zoom so that it will be easy for you guys to note. So you can see that lookup type, lookup code, then the display sequence, enable flag, the meaning, the description, tag, context, attribute, and the test. I will mention all these columns in the video description so that it will be easy for you to take it. And also you can type it, you can see that. And the same format you have to utilize. So I saved the record. And then now I'm ready for the upload. So for the upload, what I have to do, I have to go to the navigator tools and then file import and export. Within that, what I have to do, so let me show you. So navigator and then tools, and you can see that file import and export. So you have to click over there and then over here, you have to click on plus. And then what you have to do, you have to choose your files. So you have to choose your file. So I use this file. So let me use that file. And then I will click on open. So you can see that get loaded lookup.csv. So I have to note down this file name because the same file name will be utilized for uploading the values within the lookup. And then account, what account? So you have to make sure that you are using the correct account, the setup, functional setup manager import. So that account you have to use and then save and close so that this file will be loaded to the PCM. And then what you have to do, you have to get it import. So we'll switch. And then you can see that the lookup type, right? Within the lookup type, I want to import the values. So you have to select the lookup type, the line, and then you have to click on actions. And then you have to click on import. Once the moment you click on import, you have to choose the correct account. So we are using the import one. And then over here, you can see that, as I mentioned earlier, right? you can do a bulk creation of the lookup type. You can use this field for import. And if you are using the values, then you have to use this one. So what you have to do, you have to use lookup.csv because that is what the name, the file we have uploaded. Now you have to simply click on upload. Once the moment you click on upload, you have to wait till that file processed. So once the file get processed successfully, then if you want to validate, you can download the log file as well. So once you click on the log file, you can see that the log file got downloaded. And if you want to validate that how many records inserted and how many records in error. So you can see that the total records processed one and then new records inserted one. So there are no records updated and no records get in error. So now we'll validate the values. To validate the values, what we will do, we will try to again the query that lookup. And once the moment I click on search, you can see that the lookup code get uploaded, the display sequences too. Enabled flag is enabled, and then the meaning populated into meaning. Description is in description column, and then tag within the tag column. And then if you try to expand this, you can see that the context segment populated as a test, and then the test, the segment values got uploaded as a segment one values. So we have uploaded the same. So you can see that we have uploaded segment one values within the test segment and then the context attribute we have updated as a test. So you can see that it got successfully uploaded. So you can upload the more records and you can achieve your business requirement. Thank you. Thank you for watching my channel, Fusion Action Learning. Keep subscribing, keep watching. Happy learning.